मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश लिटरेचर क्लास सो चिल्ड्रन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी लर्न द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द पोएम आवर क्लास रूम सी आवर क्लास रूम वेर यू सी द बुक्स क्लॉक शूज टेबल्स टॉप एंड रूलर written by this poem is written by bestie fransco today i will be teaching you the second part of the poem let us quickly revise what we learned till now so children in this poem the poet wonders if the classroom is alive the poet tells us that there are so many non living things in our classroom which have parts like our body parts for example he says that the chair has arms and the clock has a face he also says that the kite has a long and twirly tail and he compares a few other things to human body parts now let us proceed with the second part of the story So children, now today I am going to say the second part of the poem. Please put your finger. The wooden desk has legs and seat. The cups have lips. My watch has hands. The classroom ruler all have feet. Heads, arms, hands, nails, spines, legs, feet. Tails, face, lips, tongue, eyes. What a surprise! Is our classroom alive? The wooden desk has legs and seat. Children, have you seen a desk or a table has four legs? So the poet compares it to legs of a human. The cups have lips. The poet says that the cups have lips. He is talking about the part of the cup from where we sip tea or coffee or milk. My watch has hands. We already know that the watch has two hands, a long hand and a short hand. The classroom rulers all have feet. feet means a way of measuring length heads arms hands nails spines legs feet tails face lips tongues eyes what a surprise is a classroom alive so here the poet is taking the names of the all the body parts which he has named in the poem by comparing it to classroom object and he finally asked that is a classroom alive as it has so many human parts so students how did you like the poem it was very interesting poem isn't it take care till we meet in the next class bye bye